Good morning, Atlantic Coast High School. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. Please be seated. It's Thursday, March 24th, and welcome to the Morning Rays. Seniors, listen up. How would you like to be the elected student speaker at this year's graduation? If that sounds like something you would want to do, then pick up a nomination form from Ms. Solomon in room 104 before the end of next week. Once the form is completed, then you should submit it in the same place. To be eligible, students must have at least a 3.0 GPA. You cannot have any disciplinary issues on file. You can't have more than 10 tardies and more than eight full day absences. If you are selected, your speech will be limited to two minutes. It must be school appropriate and it should not include any political agendas. The script for the speech must be submitted for approval by May 4th. Our Stingray sports teams will be very busy tonight if the weather cooperates. Check out all of these games on the schedule. Our boys' tennis team visits Fletcher at 3.30. Our girls' tennis team hosts Fletcher at 3.30. The boys' and girls' track and field teams have a meet at Wolfson beginning at 4 o'clock. Our JV baseball team visits Englewood for a doubleheader beginning at 4.30. Meanwhile, our girls' and boys' lacrosse teams visit Stanton. The girls' game begins at 5.30 and the boys' game begins at 7 o'clock. Our flag football teams have home games tonight against Paxson. The undefeated JV team will play at 6 o'clock, while the varsity team will play at 7 o'clock. Here's a look back at a few highlights from our varsity team's win in double overtime at Riverside High School this past Tuesday. The Stingrays have the most feared pass rusher in all of Duval County. Her name is Chrissy Dominguez, and she is faster than a speeding bullet and meaner than a junkyard dog. She made it difficult for the Generals quarterback to get anything done all night. Meanwhile, the Stingrays quarterbacks did very well. Look at that dime and a great catch for the touchdown. Offense sells tickets, but defense wins championships. And that's a tip drill interception for the Stingrays. Let's check out the winning touchdown pass on fourth down in double overtime. Just before the flag was pulled, Gabby Rourke catches the touchdown pass right over the middle. She's celebrating, and so is the team. Take a listen. <laughs> Class of 2022, how would you like to get an extra ticket to graduation? If we've got your attention, then all you have to do is ask one of your parents to attend an in-person meeting next Thursday, March 31st at 6 p.m. in our auditorium. This meeting is for parents of current seniors only, but if one of your parents attends this meeting, then you will receive an extra ticket for graduation, which is now 63 days away. A reminder that the next huddle for Fellowship of Christian Athletes will be after school tomorrow in room 304. Everyone is welcome to attend. If you've never been to one of these huddles before, that's okay. You can still come by, bring a friend, and enjoy some free food, fun, and fellowship. Also, the Anime Club will meet today after school in room 622. Don't forget, members of the National Honor Society want to wash your car this Saturday. Put them to work and then reward them for their efforts. Again, the fundraising car wash will be this Saturday, March 26th, between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. at the PDQ in Bartram Park on Old St. Augustine Road. Prom is now less than a month away, and ticket sales are just a few days away. Beginning this Monday, March 28th, tickets will be on sale for $50 in room 336 during all lunch periods. The last day to buy a prom ticket is Friday, April 8th. Those are all the announcements for today. Have a great day, and go Stingrays!